everyone. Now we are going to learn about the types of microscope in brain. The microscopes are going to be categorized into two main categories depending upon the illumination that is source of light and the second one is the principle involved for the magnification of the objects by the microscope. So mainly depending upon the illumination and magnification power, the microscopes are categorized into two main categories. Number one is a light microscope where in this light microscope or optical microscope, the magnification is going to be achieved with the help of optical lens system. And this group includes like uh, bright field microscope, dark field microscope, phase contrast microscope, even the fluorescent microscope, ultraviolet and interference microscopes comes under this category called light or optical microscope. And the second category or electron microscope. The magnification is going to be achieved with the help of electron beam or beam of electrons in place of optical lens or the light. So mainly under the electron microscope, we are going to have the scanning electron microscope and the transmission electron microscope. So coming to the first one, light microscope. This light microscope are going to use the optical lenses and the visible light for the magnification. And the light microscopes are again classified into two types depending upon their number of uh, what we call as optical lenses. They are the first one is a simple microscope and the second one is going to be the compound microscope. So under the simple microscope it is going to possess only one biconcave lens sorry convex lens which we are going to use for the magnifying the object. Coming to the compound microscope at least two lens systems should be there that means more than two or at least two lenses should be there in a microscope where we call that type of microscope as a compound microscope or the modern microscope. That means these compound microscopes are having a complex system of arrangement of uh, lenses that help in higher magnification and better resolution. So the magnification power we can achieve by this one is uh, nearly from 1000 to 2000 times the diameter of specimen and the wavelength of the light generally we use in the light microscope is uh, 400 to 700 nanometer. A wide variety of microscopes are now available uh, that we are going to use and they can be of uh, different types like bright field, dark field, phase contrast and the fluorescent microscope. Coming to the electron microscope, the electron microscope was developed by Noll and Ruska and in the electron microscope instead of the light we are going to use a beam of electrons where in the light microscope we use the light and at the same time instead of the optical lenses the electron microscope is going to use the magnetic fields and this whole system of the electron microscope was going to be operated in a high vacuum condition. And the resolving power is going to be of about 0 0.05 nanometers and the magnification is going to be many times greater than the light microscope that is going to be in the lax. Okay. And we uh, are going to have the two main categories of uh, electron microscope. One is called as transmission electron microscope and the second one is going to be the scanning electron microscope. So these were the pictures of uh, both the transmission electron microscope and the scanning electron microscope. So we should note that each type of the microscope possesses a definite limit of visibility. For instance, in the light microscope, it is going to use a magnification of 1000x diameter. Hence, it has a visibility that is limit, visible limit of about 0.2 micrometers. While in the electron microscope, we are having the lower visible limit of about 0.4 micrometers meters. Then moving to the simple microscope. This simple microscope it is going to consist a single convex lens or a combination of more than one lenses 
functioning as a single lens. So such type of the microscopes are called as a simple microscope. And this type of lenses, when placed between an object and the eye, allows the object to come closer, thus forming an enlarged image on the retina. Since the image is going to be larger, the eye is able to resolve the finer details that could not be distinguished without the lens. Now the magnification of the simple microscope or the lenses can be calculated by using the formula called M. Magnification is equal to 250 by F plus 1, where F is the focal length of the lens in millimeters and 250 is the distance of the normal vision in millimeters and whereas the uh, what we call as a single lens can give a magnification up to 3x. Whereas if you are using the combination of different lenses into a single unit that where you will get the combination magnification up to 20x. So example of this kind is going to be the field magnifying glasses by the microbiologist. Then moving to this uh, second type of microscope that is a compound microscope or the modern microscopes as I told you. So these are having at least two lens systems that is going to be objective or ocular or eyepiece. Now these uh, compound microscopes are going to be of having a complex system of arrangement of lenses that help in higher magnification uh, that is about 1000 to 2000 times the diameter of specimen and as well as the resolution also that is we are having a better resolution when compared to the simple microscope and the most commonly used the most commonly used compound microscopes are bright field microscope dark field microscope phase contrast microscope and the fluorescent microscope and all these types of uh, microscopes are going to be discussed in detail in the consecutive videos and this is how we are going to have the different uh, image formation by the different microscope for example if you see this figure, this is how the image formation will occur in the bright field microscope of a tetrahymenium. If you are going to observe in the dark field microscope, this is how the same uh, organism will be seen in the dark field microscope. And this is a picture in the phase contrast microscope of tetrahymenium. And this is going to be in the fluorescent microscope. So these are the different types of uh, images that are going to be formed. Uh, of the tetrahymenium in different microscope. So we will discuss about all these types of microscopes in detail one by one in the consecutive videos. Thank you.